Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another, and no, not Intimate Dimensions, or No Mark video, episode 59, and end of last episode, I made the big breakthrough of getting Omega to the Omega squared in Challenge 8, which means I can get a ton more decremeny, which means a ton more singularity levels. So let's see how much this is even going to be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That was 19 singularity levels. And my singularity is 122, which means if I just do this, that is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, 4 more singularity levels. Actually, 5 more. So that's 24 more singularity levels. That gets me from singularity of 153, I think to 177, now 178. So, yeah, I can just see how much of a breakthrough this was. This is also going to really help just everything. And I'm not sure exactly how much I want to grind Dark Manifolds, but, um, yeah, it's just it's just huge, just getting all these singularity levels. Now I'm at 179, maybe I just want to push all the way to 180, and that'll be, be good for now. So, that will... I'm not exactly sure what all that's going to do. I know it's a big breakthrough, but all it is is just singularity levels, which are becoming less and less important compared to Omega Challenges. So, like, maybe I should try Omega Challenge 5. I haven't tried that one in a while, especially considering how many singularity levels I have now. So, I feel like I'll just get the last singularity level here, 180, and I can exit the challenge... I think so. Oh, not 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 that. Exit this Omega Challenge. Now go into Omega Challenge five because I haven't done that one in a while. And oh yeah, this is the one where you need to do this. Um, yeah, I I I, I keep forgetting, or I, I didn't forget this time, but that's the supremely annoying um, one where you have to do this. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's supposed to be faster than that though. I guess if I do this. Does that do anything? Yeah, yeah, that probably makes it better. And maybe I, I maybe I should check boosters. It looks like it's about the same. Also, I'm less than base six, which means that I'm gonna get a ton more ordinal or not. Okay, I I thought there was the markup gives six 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 more ordinal points if your base is less than six, but whatever. I'll just do this. And actually, maybe it's because that base was really not less than six. I have no idea. But anyway, okay, base five, and boom. Backman Howard Ordinal, um, grinding factor boosts first, or not. I always forget that. I always forget Omega Challenge 5, you don't grind factor boosts. Or maybe you do grind factor boosts, because that was actually... To only give a few boosters, but... It got this tier 2 automation from just, um, it was like probably 30 times to 200 times. So maybe, maybe it is worth it to get that one factor boost. I don't know, maybe it wasn't as disastrous as I thought. And I think once I do this, okay, yeah, back my Howard Ordinal. So now I can increase my singularity, get more incrementy, and hopefully this is, yeah, that's, I think that's a ton of completions. Yeah, point... 0.2 completions. That's going to be pretty good. It's going to give me much, much more powerful Aleph multipliers. So that, that will help just everything. And I think what I should do next is maybe Omega Challenge 3. Because I haven't done that one in a while. Even though the reward is extremely lame. Um, at least it'll give me more completions. I guess I'll do that. Maybe I should just grind this. Because... You can see I am actually getting a decent amount of like incrementy here, so I'm I'm not exactly sure. Like this reward is good, but should I try to get it better? I'm not really sure. I think at this point though, I can just try on like a challenge three, just just to see if I can get anywhere. I'm not gonna really focus on it all that much. I guess I I will do the the factor boost grinding strategy where I get these upgrades and then grind factor boosts for a little bit just to see just to try to boost 
how many completions I'm going to get here. And yeah, this is probably going to do, yeah, it's going to give me some more completions. It's actually quite a, quite a few more completions. Um, so at least, at least I'm doing that. But again, this upgrade is very weak. I guess maybe it'll do something. It's going to save one booster. But yeah, that's about all I can do here. I think what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try Omega Challenge 6 again and see if I can get anywhere in it. So, um, yeah, this is the war. You your incrementing is or singularity is stuck at 1. You can't get these upgrades. And I'm, getting, I'm not getting E66 incrementing per second, but this is still far from what I actually need. I mean, I could I could try to actually grind factor boost. That is that is a possibility. I haven't really thought of that in challenge eight yet. And maybe I can get if I can get the AE8 booster upgrade, maybe that will help things enough that I can get better. Um, you can see how how much more factor boost I'm getting. Let's see if I'm going to get any more incrementing. Nope, it's still the same E66 as before. So. Factor boosts don't help. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I still can't do this challenge, but maybe I can do... I feel like with all these singularity levels, I can try Omega Challenge 2 again. And this will help a lot. Because, yeah, I, I think Omega Challenge 2 is one of the most crucial just because the reward is extremely good. And just get these, as always. And now I can, yeah, 7 million factor boosts per second. And once I stop grinding factor boosts, I can get this and get E110. And that actually even gives me an achievement. It's the complete Omega Challenge 2 twice, which means that, yeah, this is now boosting doubling to over four times. So that's just going to help me with just everything. Like, I could even try, like, with that... That means it will actually help Omega Challenge 1 plus 8. But maybe at this point, I, I don't know. Maybe I can try to grind Factor Boost just normally, seeing if this is going to do anything. Can't really get many Cardinals. Um, could try to do this to boost this multiplier a little bit. And let, let, let's see. So if I'm out of Omega Challenges, um, okay, I don't really want to grind. I, I want I want to grind factor boosts. So I'm getting 20 billion, 21 actually. If I just do this, I can get 29 billion factor boosts per second, which is about four times more than what I was getting before. So it's pretty good, but still will take a while to reach a lot of factor boosts. Or but maybe I could try challenge nine early because I'm still getting factor boost pretty quickly and. With all that doubling that I was getting before, maybe I maybe I can get some sort of breakthrough. I'm not sure. Maybe I can get another challenge eight completion. That is another possibility at this point. I'm not even sure if I have the. Okay, I do have these, um, but maybe if I go into like challenge eight, maybe I can get some sort of breakthrough happening. And actually, like you can see, I can just keep upping the singularity. A little bit and I can get even more factor boosts per second. I'm just gonna try challenge nine. Even though it's I don't have that many factor boosts, just the extra singularity levels plus just everything else I think may really help. So let's see, it's okay, first of course first I have to do this. Um yeah, it's this boring part, and then um just probably I may want to grind factor I may, I'm also gonna try Factor boost strategy. Um, it says it's on, but um, I, I don't. I don't know why. I, I I really don't know why it's. I'm I'm not grinding factor boost, even though it's on. I could try to turn it off. No. Um, maybe I could just manually boost. If I press B, no, I can't even do that. So, okay, no factor boost grinding here, fortunately. But I can get a ton of inc incrementing. Um, it's about, probably 15 orders of magnitude higher than what I previously had, which means that, actually, that's, yeah, another achievement. Um, have 52 manifolds. So now my max singularity 
is it looks like it's 192. So yeah, that's that's significantly higher than what I had before. And maybe it's time to go into challenge eight. Um, it's also cure. It's also it's interesting. I can just look at what the ordinal can do. Um, yeah, this is kind of complicated, but 192 singularity, and I can now gain actually 38 billion factor boost per second. So that's a, about like a okay, not 50 percent, but it's a a, de a decent um, improvement of, off of what I had before. And maybe I, I feel a little more confident into trying to get that that elusive 17th completion of challenge eight. Maybe I should try to do the same omega to the omega cubed in challenge eight thing as I did before, but um, the thing is I can't get, I cannot get these, these, um, oh, what am I doing? Okay, I guess I'll just click okay here, and okay, I'm, I'm out of challenge eight, but we try again, just to try to get that, that last completion. Singularity one, get these upgrades, and now, is it gonna, is it gonna do anything? I'm, I'm up to E48, so I think that is a completion. Let's see if I can do one more completion. Um, E48, I need E53, even with this upgrade. So at least I got that elusive 17th completion. Um, I could try this, but I'm just not quite there doing this outside of the Omega Challenge. So yeah, what, what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll exit Challenge 8. I'm guessing this extra completion will help me get a lot more factor boost, yeah, a lot more, oh my god. I, I thought it was going to be like, oh, it'll be nice 50% more. No, this is way more. This is tripling factor boosts. So, all of a sudden, I was at 20 billion before, but now I'm at 120 billion. So, you can just see how much better it is. I could even try Challenge 9 again. Actually, I, I will do that. Challenge 9, just to see... Um, what I can do in it, um, I'm getting no incrementy for some reason. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, I'm back into challenge nine. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any more manifolds out of this because, oh, actually there's one more. So that means my singularity is 193. So that helps slightly. And I guess I'll just exit the challenge and... I'm not exactly sure what to do now. Maybe this completion will help Omega Challenges, but I think at this point it may be better just to um, try to grind the factor boosts because you get to see just how much more I'm getting. Like I, I think last time I did the factor boost grinding, I was getting six billion factor boosts per second, or maybe seven billion. So this is a lot more. It's almost almost 50 times more. So even if I just grind this for a day, I will be able to get um, 10 quadrillion factor boosts, which will, will give me this achievement. Also, 69 nice achievements. But I'll get that achievement, and more crucially, I can get more cardinals. Even if I just wait here, it's going to give me, in a day, I can get, like, 4e43. That's about 1e43 on each branch. The next I, the next thing is actually 4e43. So that means three days will get me um, another singularity level out of this. I think more crucially it'll just help the Aleph multipliers. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.